Tonight, students at the University of Missouri honored Riley Strain with a candlelight vigil. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Lucas Geisler. And I'm Megan Trakis. Strain's body was found in the Cumberland River in Nashville last month while he was on a trip with his Delta Chi fraternity brothers. Our ABC 17's Mitchell Kaminsky was at the vigil tonight and joins us live from Traditions Plaza. Mitchell, this was the first time we're hearing from members of Strain's fraternity. Megan Lucas, just four hours ago, this plaza was filled with hundreds of students mourning the death of Riley Strain. Now, this is the first week that the University of Missouri has had students back on campus since the spring break. In an Instagram post that Delta Chi fraternity asked those attending the vigil to wear green in Strain's honor. We have all lost a dear friend, a brother, a teammate, and an amazing person. For the first time since Riley Strain's death, Members of Missouri's Delta Chi fraternity spoke publicly about their brother. They shared memories and hugs as hundreds of students packed the Traditions Plaza. We're all human. We're all human. So for me, you know, uh, sad, devastated, and I felt for all of his brothers and his family. Strain's body was discovered eight miles outside of downtown Nashville and the Cumberland River after he was separated from his group at a fraternity event. The goal of the vigil was to try and get closure as a way to honor Strain and what Delta Chi's Director of Alumni Relations called a rough couple of weeks. Riley's fraternity brothers described him as a yes man who always wanted to get involved. He loved the outdoors and could often be found at the docks at the crack of dawn fishing. His favorite color was green. Green makes you look good, right? That was that was Riley's favorite color. That was kind of his motto. Um, and to me, whenever I look out at the amphitheater tonight and see everyone in that green to support Riley, um, I think it speaks volume to the whole community. I asked Dick Knight what Delta Chi was doing to help the Missouri chapter deal with the loss. He gave credit to the University of Missouri for providing resources to them and other students on campus to help cope with this loss. It says the fraternity is going to be trying to do the same thing. Reporting live in Columbia, Mitchell Kaminsky, ABC 17 News. Such a large turnout to honor Riley Strain tonight. Thank you, Mitch. The Nashville Police Department said no foul play trauma was seen on Strain's body and his death appears to be an accident. 